OK, then, looking ahead to the game, Jim, um, it, it, it's first against third on uh, Saturday. A, a cracking game in prospect, I'd say. Well, I mean, it's it's uh, two weeks ago, you know, the way it was. And in, the fan and won their game in hand, they were going above us. So, obviously, they were the closest challengers. And, you know, if they were to win their game in hand, they still would be. So, it's a massive game. Uh, I've already been looking at quotes from some players at Annan and they're seeing it as a cup final for them. So, you know, it's obviously, I mean, I think with 14 games to go, you've got 14 cup finals at this stage of the season, but we will we'll certainly, you know, we'll look forward to it and there's no doubt that it's a big game, so there's, there's no point in kidding yourself on it's anything other than that. But, uh, you know, we'll just go in and, and we'll enjoy the day, hopefully. Yeah, I mean, Annan, like you say, um, they're, they're not that far away. They're seven points behind you, but they, they, they do crucially have that game in hand. So uh, there's there's uh, no no real room for, for slip-ups from the blue team. No, I, I mean, with, with kind of a, with one or two last games, which, which you know, with, we've been, we were disappointing on Saturday there. With it looking like losing the game, but we didn't do enough, you know, in the, in the positive side of it, we... We didn't pass it well enough. We didn't create enough chances. But, you know, generally, neither were we hanging on or anything like that. So it was a good three points. And then the week before at Montrose, we had a poor first half. So we definitely need to up our game this week. Uh, otherwise, we'll come unstuck. But, you know, that that's... The, the main thing, is, I suppose, is winning the games. But we do know that we can play better. And, uh, you know, that can be ominous for the opposition, obviously, that... You know, we feel as though we can step it up a wee bit, and if we can step it up, then you know we might be a hard team to catch. Yeah, and and look at looking at Annan, what, what what do you make of them? They're a decent team. Annan, Annan, they're always a big strong side. First and foremost, that's that's the thing about them. Uh, fortunately for us, one of their centre halves got sent off last week. Uh, a big strong guy who plays at the back, always dangerous at set pieces. Uh, so he'll be missing. Uh, like us, the, for me, the wee boy Hopkirk that they've got, uh, he's got the same injury as Coxie and probably got it about the same time, so he's still missing. So, so like us, they're missing a couple of key players, but generally, the, you know, they've still done great. They've they've been picking up results. They they work really hard. They're really well organised. And uh, I mean, again, Peter Wellerson, he's another one. He's missing. He's been, I think, he's out for a year or something like that with a cruciate injury. So. So they, they, they've also had problems and they've, they've got by, they've got on with it. And, uh, you know, it's been no surprise, obviously, that, that they've, they've slipped up a couple of games because they have been missing key players. But, you know, they'll come up here and they'll have a go at us. And uh, the first game of the season was a 2-2 draw at Balmwell. And it was a cracking game. So, you know, the fans might be well entertained on Saturday. Yeah, um, uh, one game at a time, obviously, Jim. But you know, you're you're really at the the business end uh, of, of the season now. Th- this is the first of uh, three games against teams around you, Sterling away and and, and Clyde at home, uh, still to come. So um, you know, exciting times. Brilliant. I mean, this is this is what you're in the game for. To I mean, okay, last season we had a decent season, but there was never any prospect to being able to win. The league with Angels being there, and uh, and this season, I mean, I know who knows what's going to happen, but we, we're in the mix for sure, and uh, and that's what I said about you've got 14, 14 games left, and and they're all cup finals and big games, and and even on Saturday against Queens Park, we're not playing well. You could even sense it with the supporters that uh, you know there wasn't any impatience or anything like that. They were grateful we win because again they. They know how how vital it is, and and they know how hard these games are. Also, you know, so it's, it's good times, and and hopefully the players can enjoy it. Yeah, and you, you mentioned the fans there, Jim. Obviously, the the fans have got a vital role to play. If they can come out and force and make some noise and get right behind the boys, that you know that could make a heck of a difference. Well, t- to be honest, we've seen that already. Uh, you know, I, I think no Saturday's game, but the last game against Elgin, I think there was about eight hundred there, and. And uh, Montrose a couple of weeks ago, we we maybe had half the crowd at Montrose, and you can see people getting interested, and and uh, and I just hope we get a half decent day, and and uh, the people of the town come out and support us, you know, because we could certainly be doing it.
Yeah, and and what's your uh, early team news? Any any injury concerns? No, I've got none. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm saying none. I'm I'm I'm, I'm taking Jamie Redmond for granted because Jamie came off with a, a bad eye injury last week, which which received five stitches uh, just before the game finished, and uh, it was even at that, it was it was hard to get him off the pitch because the boys, you know, he's such a determined character and. He's not the best of luck recently with head injuries, and and uh, and I spoke to he spoke to him last night, and he tells me he's getting his stitches out on Friday, and he'll be available for Saturday. So, you know, Jamie will, will certainly make himself available, but I would say at the minute he's the only he'd be the only one that we'd put a doubt against.